Welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how to remove warning harness from the engine. So I'm gonna start from the front of the engine, which is like a venous solenoid exhaust side, also camshaft exhaust side, uh, thermostat. Thermostat. It's not a temperature sensor. It's a probe, which is like heating element which I'm gonna explain later and then I'm gonna follow to the ex uh, intake manifold and show you the rest of the bits so first venous solenoid uh, camshaft pos position sensor thermostat I have to remove this Okay, now we can go to the other side. Okay, this is the intake side. I'm feeding through the first part of the wiring harness, which is in the front. Now it's loose, one bolt is missing. So I, now I'm removing oil temperature sensor. Don't uh, mix with, you can't actually mix the socket with oil pressure sensor which is here oil temperature sensor have two uh, pins oil pressure sensor got just one pin the alternator oil pressure sensor uh, that's the valve which is responsible for releasing any uh, pressurized fumes from your fuel tank so each time you're switching out the car there's probably some some noises you can hear that's the valve and also the ICV and now it's the best to remove that nut which is holding a dipstick tube so it's on the way so we're gonna remove that <coughs> if you're doing this job you need to be careful because there's a hose attached to it that hose comes from your crankcase uh, valve they usually come in for vacuum leaks usually these hoses are cracked or blocked so we have to be careful for that it's just best to replace them once This has probably never been changed, it's quite old, so I'm not going to bother to save that. Now, you need to be careful, there's an o-ring inside and also a bit of mess, so if you want to remove that, best to be careful otherwise the mask gonna go to your oil pan and oh, look at that so you have to wiggle around and then you can pull the dipstick tube uh, I'm trying to find the o-ring which is Oh, which is in very poor condition that also may cause uh, vacuum leaks oh, it's very messy over here so 
So now dipstick is removed. So we can carry on with the wiring harness. So we got one bolt here which is missing and now the one is under the intake input. And one is located on top, just in the front of the idle control valve. Now I can try to pull it. Now, the last bit on this side is your uh, throttle body. There's a big socket. It's a little bit different from M54 because M54 have electronic uh, throttle body. This is like half manual. So, it still so have some kind of connection but it's a little bit different it's different socket it don't screw it okay just like that See this arrow? When you stop and in installing it back, they should match. So throttle body is off. Now what else? On this side, you got your oil level sensor, which is on in the bottom of the uh, oil pan. This is your uh, crankshaft position sensor. Uh, it's very oily. I don't know if it was working or not, but you if you're checking for problems Sometimes you just might need to check Your connection this one looks very terrible On top we have uh, EGR uh, Some kind of solenoid which is probably releasing some kind of pressure from the EGR. This is not you can't see this in uh, M54 because M54 doesn't have EGR valve they just bypass it they delete that so any any uh, leaks vacuum leaks are very common usually from here if you have a leak and you can't find it you should check these because they they're usually caped with piece of rubber cap so this this valve doesn't appear in M54 so next one which is another zip tie and another one This has been cut before and also important this is location of your temperature sensor of your coolant it's mounted behind oh, in the back of the cylinder head below the intake manifold same as N54 engine no difference with that so almost our Harness is free. Oh, yeah. Here, another connector for knock sensors. Oh, 
another one gone. Now I am on top of the intake manifold to remove two connections. These two are the auto sensors uh, behind the, the cats and to the last bit we have to remove is injection uh, harness harness for the injector so uh, before you can remove this you have to remove additional holes from the your CCV aero separator which is looking very bad crispy this is a uh, intake temperature sensor very important part as well and now this is the difference between uh, M54 and M52 TU engine that pressure regulator in M54 is under the car with a fuel, fuel filter. So each time you're changing your fuel filter in M54, you're changing this part as well. So you're I'm removing a vacuum hose from that fuel pressure regulator, disconnecting. venous solenoid from intake side and now with long screwdriver you just pry it however this card never have any history so it's gonna be hard sometimes you need to push these clips on the side if you if you do that with one the other one should go off easily but it's harder to start I'm gonna remove these clips as well okay one is off One is off. Very old, very old. Never been removed, that's why it's so hard. Usually it should snap very easily. Okay, second, third, fourth, fifth, and the last one. And the last one, number six. Okay. Injector uh, harness is off. Only small vacuum pipe from the EGR, and that's it. Wiring harness is free. You can put it on the side, and that's how you remove your wiring har harness uh, in your BMW. M52 to you or M54 engine. Thank you and I hope you're gonna stay and watch another video.